Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepy at gmail.com. Today, I'm going to talk about to get a fresh token from TD Ameritrade. Uh, the reason for that is right now, you can use iBridgePi to trade with TD Ameritrade and a fresh a uh, refresh token is required to get connected to TD Ameritrade. That's why I'm making this, this tutorial. First, let's talk about the prerequisites. There are, uh, there are some. The first one is you need to have a TD Ameritrade live account, which means you have an account number, uh, login ID, and password. Then you need to register a app at developer.tdameritrade.com. If you have not done so, you can check out this video on YouTube to create an app there. After you created this app, you will have two things which are needed to get a refresh token. The first one is callback URL. The other one is consumer key. So you need these two things to get a refresh token from TD Ameritrade. Third prerequisite is you need to use Python 3.7 to do the following work on Mac, actually. Then you need the internet to install Python packages. The last one is on your computer, you need to have the permission to install these Python packages. Actually, if you prefer to get a fresh token in other ways, I mean not using Python code, but use regular web browser, please check out our tutorial in the YouTube channel of AveragePy. Then let's start to prepare. Step one is to clone a GitHub project. Uh, first, actually here, I mean in the Mac, you can put in this command line. So git clone this git project. Then after that, a folder of TD Ameritrade will be created because of the step one and then we cd into this folder. The step two is to create a virtual Python environment and activate that Python. The reason of making a virtual Python environment is to provide you an isolated Python environment so that you can put your project and your dependencies together. To create a virtual Python environment, the command line is python 3.7-m venv env env is the name you can come up anything you like after this command your system uh, there will be a new folder created in your project which is called env slash bn and then you cd into that folder in that folder then you type in this command is source activate. After that, you will have a active virtual Python system. Step three is to install required Python packages into your virtual Python environment. There are three Python packages you need to install. The first one is request. Second one is called pandas. The third one is called Selenium. After you install the three Python packages, then what you need to do is to download and unzip Chrome driver from this website. And you need to have installed a Google Chrome web browser to integrate together the solution. Step five is to copy the unzipped Chrome driver file, which is created in step four, 
to the folder of tdmiltrade slash env slash bin so that in the virtual Python environment then Python packages can call this Chrome driver to do the automated things for you. If you don't download and move Chrome driver to the correct folder, you will see the following error message. The error message will look like this. After you finish these steps, we can start to get a refresh token from TDMI trade. The first step is to go back to the project folder which is the TDMR trade we created. So CD into TDMR trade folder. Step two, start interactive Python console. At this moment, I assume your virtual Python has been activated already. So when you type in Python, then the interactive Python console will start up. Step three, inside the Python, uh, interactive Python console. Type in import tdmetric.auth. This is the, the package you download. Then step four is to retrieve the token from tdmetric by typing in this command line. Answers, which is the return of the authentication. Here, you need to use the consumer key and call back the URL you created uh, in the registered uh, app in the TD uh, folder, uh, uh, in the TD, uh, uh, the, the website of developer tdmetric.com. And don't forget to put the trailing slash in the URL that's required. Then the last step is to display refresh token by type in ANS. Finally, you got a fresh token. And then I will show a video I made on a Mac to give you some hands-on feeling about how to make how to get a how to get a refresh token. Right now it's on a Mac system. Uh, the first time, the first thing is to cd into env-bin and then type in source activate. In this way, you will see the virtual Python system has been started. And right now, you can type in Python. Then the Python interactive console will start. At this time, you import tdmetric.auth. Wait for a while. There's no error message, means everything is good at this moment. And then the next part is to uh, get authenticated using the, the key, using the key and the URL. Then a Google Chrome browser will jump out and ask for your live account user ID and password and then put in the user ID and the password in the password window. Okay, put password and click login and then click allow. And then you will see something like this and then switch back to the command line and hit enter. Then you got this one. This is the result and ref refresh token is there. Finally, you got a, ref ref a refresh token there. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to channel of iBridgePi. Thank you very much.